Welcome back YouTube, it's uh, Chris, and we're having another segment on Universe X. So um, I'm sure as most of you guys know, they have revealed the second secret rare for Destroyer Kings, and no surprise, it's another Destroyer King. So um, this is Arcane Absorption Majin Buu. And before we dive into that, I just wanna ask everybody to please like, comment, hit that notification button, um, subscribe, subscribing, helping me grow the channel, likes help grow the channel, um, and when you comment, you guys are normally giving me views that I didn't quite see before I made this video and adding on to the content of this video for the future, so just please hit that up. Um, now, moving into this card effect, Triple Strike, it's an 8 cost black card, um, Triple Strike Ultimate, activate main 6. Um, choose one evil wizard bobbity card in your drop area or warp and play it. Uh, play the chosen card. Then play this card from your hand on top of that card. And then his auto says that when you play this card, if there is an evil wizard bobbity under this card, choose up to five agent of destruction cards, battle cards, from your drop area or warp and play them. Okay. So, um, this is pretty interesting. First and foremost, this is the 40k triple strike. Um, at that alone should not be ignored. This guy can go for game, he's gonna start off at 40K, and that's powerful. Second, um, the fact that the activate main for six is confusing a lot of people. This is an activation from your hand. The way it is read, you can't have it on your field and pay six to play it from your hand on top of the body. That doesn't make sense. So this is an activate from your hand. He is an eight cost card, but he is a six drop, okay? Um, essentially because he will always be played 4-6. Now, the next part of this is that when he comes to play, you can choose up to five Destruction Kings. Um, that is pretty good, pretty crazy. So let us dive into a couple of things here. First and foremost, um, you can choose any Bobbity from your grave or warp. Play it, Evil Wizard Bobbity, and uh, play this guy on top of it. Now the funny thing is, as far as I would think, it's getting the effect. The Bobbity that comes out is getting the effect. So we've actually got just a couple of just instances of Bobbity. You've got Agent of Resurrection Bobbity. Um, when you play this card, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one Majin Buu amongst them and add them to your hand and shelf your deck. So that can be kind of cute, you know? You just play this card out and just for paying six you're going to search the top three of your deck and get this guy out and proc his effect the next part is that um you know you have bobby overseer of destruction now this guy doesn't really have a come into play effect so we're just going to kind of move right by it because it's just another bobby um then you've got dark duo bobby which just when he comes into uh play if your leader card is red you uh you know you just choose one of your battle cards 15,000 attack or less and you turn into active mode. So that's kind of cute too. But then you've got the one that's making everybody talk left and right, uh, Mind Control Bobbity. And we all know what that does, you know, it got the errata, so if you have six or uh, more red energy, all red, then, um, then you can look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose two red battle cards, up to two red battle cards with 25,000 or less attack and play them. So um, in terms of ceiling, this card is incredibly high because if you're building, you know, just the right cards, you could play this on six, put an Evil Wizard Bobbity if you had six red man uh, energy, look at the top seven, put two into play, then the Bobbity comes into play, or the, uh, the Boo comes into play, and you put any one of these Agents of Destruction out. And that's cool. That's just cool. Um, however, getting up to six red energy is hard, mainly because until set six, Red didn't even have the best defenses. So this is very, 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 very interesting. Now, moving on to the next point is that we've already gone over the destruct or destruction rares, and this boo can just spit out five of them, all five of them. And um, what this means is that this card can single-handedly create a field out of nothing. And that is something that cannot be ignored. Now, going deeper into the spice levels, uh, Shinron can bring this card out, and a perfect storm can bring this card out as early as turn three. Uh, turn one, play your energy, search your Dragon Balls. Turn two, play your energy, you know, search your Dragon Balls. Um, 
like especially if you're using the one star ball you can set up by putting surprise attack majin buu which is the three drop red majin buu into the grave or you can uh you know, if somebody attacks you and you just want to pettily throw it into the grave as combo you can do that too but then the next stop on this line is if you awaken on turn three you can child's wish surprise attack majin buu to the field okay then his effect will search out a 2500 or less power Majin Buu from your deck to your hand. So you search out the Awakening Evil Majin Buu. Then you pay two of your red energy to play Awakening Evil Majin Buu. After you do this, you can then just Union Absorb, put the Bobbity underneath Awakening Evil Majin Buu, and his effect searches out a Majin Buu other than. Um, Awaken Evil Majin Buu with 25,000 or more power from your deck and put it on top of this card. That's the secret rare. So, just in case um, the, that was a little hard to follow, turn three, if you were awakened and you had the three drop Majin Buu engraved, you can Child's Wish it to the field. After Child's Wishing it to the field, you can use its effect to search out Awakening Evil Majin Buu. After searching out that you pay the two energy to evolve them onto the boo and now you have awakening evil on board and then you just put the bobbity from your hand underneath it and you search out the secret rare and that is on turn three you have the secret rare. now will he summon a gajillion things probably not on turn three but hey who knows how your one star dra uh, one star dragon balls went who knows what you comboed but this could potentially be a really funny combo to put out on turn three um now the only other things is that uh, looking at the cons of this card, they are all played at the same time, the Agents of Destruction that Boo gets. Um, this card also does not have Deflect, it does not have Barrier. So um, once it's on the board, if you somehow get Nimbus, you could lose your whole board the next turn through Akami, you could lose your Majin Boo through other things, there's a lot of things that can happen to it, because it doesn't have Deflect, it can be Bloodlusted. Um, since it puts all the cards onto the board, things like Crusher Ball are also very detrimental because what you thought could have been your game push may just be a Crusher Ball into your Majin Buu getting negated. And then your whole game push is just gone and you've probably tapped out because uh, not many times you're able to play six energy and not tap out. Um, or even if you're dropping it out early and you somehow have the setup, you're not really able to play three energy like this. Well, you'll have one energy, but uh, if you did it in the Shenron deck, but it's just, there's a lot of variables. Um, but most importantly, the combo is very susceptible because nothing on that line has barrier. And I know there's the blue boo that can give away an evil barrier, but generally if you're going up, 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 then you're not putting that step in. Now, um, if you somehow sneak the red boo under there or the uh, blue boo under there to give it barrier and then you keep leveling up, you've got something formidable. But I just want to let you know that while this combo is extremely powerful, it has some holes in it. So um, there we go. Explain the uh, secret rare, talked about some of the things it can do, talked about some of the spicy it topics right now with it and uh, what it can do. There's a lot more spice that can actually go with the deck. A lot of the black cards have been very n close knit on their, um, on their support because it's not like they've been particularly forefront like a mono black deck still has yet to just go in and destroy a tournament but because they're because their synergy is so tight-knit there's a lot of cards that you wouldn't think interact with this leader or with this uh, secret rare they kind of do it can be recycled by at least one leader and I believe that leader is black mass Sam um, it has some interactions with Mira it's it's very very interesting just being a black card so I hope you guys like that I hope you guys liked the video remember to like comment subscribe leave your comments below if you got even more spice and um like i said before i'm always gonna be here to try to put out this content i'm here on another lunch break just to record this so i can edit it later like i said last video the grind don't stop when you're aiming for the top thank you guys for some coming back to universe x and i'll see you guys next time peace